Hi, good afternoon to everyone. And what I'm coming to talk to you today is about spray on fabric. Well, today I'm already wearing the spray on fabric. I, just, I was just coming from, as Gary said, from US, and they told me, do you wear spray on fabric? I'm thinking that today I have this presentation to give, and I have the labs next to me. I thought, well, why not to go to my lab and create an instant t-shirt for the TED event? Then here I am, wearing it. And I asked three of my colleagues from the chemical engineering department to say, can you guys spray me the t-shirt? And this morning, I text message them, and they are here. Thank you, guys. And it's my first time, because I've been spraying to many people through all these 10 years of the research, that I never had myself to be able to wear one of my tops. And it feels very good. <laughs> well, here it is, the spray on fabric. It's this instant non-woven material, which it comes from this liquid form. That's what I am about. I am about making liquid fabrics. And Basically, these days in, in US, uh, just some of the journalists, they were describing me as a chemist tailor. And I think probably that chemist tailor is a very good way to describe what I do. Well, how I went about it, about the spray on fabric, I started with the idea, then I realized that I was not a chemist and I needed to learn, and such a good place to come to Imperial College and get that knowledge and be able to develop the idea. And then where we are about today, what we're doing today, we are basically finding many applications and what I want to do now, my next dream is just to bring it to you guys so that you all can wear the spray on t-shirts. The idea started from the silly string. Probably you guys you are aware with the silly string fabric. Then basically the technology is the simple technology. It can be spray in different ways, either from a spray gun, aerosol gun, a portable sprayer. Also, it has so many applications. Look at this room. This room could be the chairs, the, anything could be a spray with a spray on fabric. You know, currently we're doing a lot of research on the automotive industry here in the college. And basically, something that fascinates me is from fashion to medical. And I will show you one of the first generations of these fabrics, which is an instant cast. As you can see, you spray this material and very instantly it will come in minutes like hard as a cast. The good thing about this technology is also that you can embed drugs if it's needed. You can really create a bandage, an antiseptic, uh, a drug delivery patch. And as you can see, we have And that's probably why now I enjoy the most, like moving from the fashion to medical approaches. It sets very quickly hard, and how longer you leave it, how hard the material gets. Then, and, thank you. Another application could be cosmetics. Fashion needs to go next to cosmetics. You know, I'm really working now on a visible perfume, a patch that you will spray and you will see that, uh, you will smell and you will be able to see the perfume. Fashion. Fashion is always has been the passion. Fashion has been my drive. Fashion has been the way to communicate the scientific research. And here, you know, it, it will be a very good thing to see. Here is the first time that I have a good proof of this technology. I wonder if we could bring the volume down. 
This is about six years ago when I was the beginning of working on the spray on fabric. And I was interviewed by BBC Korea. If we have any Korean audience, you will be able to understand. And they came here and they said, well, can you spray a t-shirt? And here is the result. The, the press on my project always has been a, a, a good way to, to push my research for fashion. It feels a little bit cold, but it's bearable. I, you know, today I was totally very happy about it. It looks like pain, you know, from here, from this video, but that's why, you know, you can feel, it feels very much like suede, that probably will be the best way to describe this material, like suede material. It is breathable, we spray different types of fibers, from natural to synthetic to recycling fibers as well. It could come on any colors. What it fascinates from, it, from this material is like you will see very soon how we can cut with some scissors this material and the way you can join together the material again. What I envisage is, I was in this conference of what will be the wearable fabrics, what we will wear in the future, and I was telling them that what I envisage is that we go to a shop, they will have a booth, we will get inside of this booth, and they will create us what we want, a t-shirt, a top, you will go home, you will be able to wash it and reuse it and rewear it again, and you will get something bespoke fitting to you. And I hope that the, in the US they are starting to do that. <coughs> you know, many people ask me, what happens if you're hairy? Well, you know, as you can see, I'm quite hairy, and it doesn't, it doesn't stick on the hair. And you can have either short sleeves, long sleeves, high neck, low neck, B neck, you know, it's like, it's more like, you know, the consumer to be in control of the design. <laughs> Here is where you will see how it's so easy just to join the two fabrics together. So that constantly you can change your mind to say, I, I want something else, I want. The material is stretchy, you can move, it doesn't bake. It comes in different colors, you can do a stencils, you know, reds, blues. You know, and the last thing that I would like to show you, that material is washable. And you will see me my face because it was the first times that they asked me, say, is that fabric can be washable? And I did try it, and yes, it is washable. Things that can be very fast on our needs of today.
you know, to their lifestyle and everything needs and to be fast. And the way everything is going, that is all fast, 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 that we're living in this moving, fast society, I, I believe that this technology really fits on now that we want just things to be fast, that very quickly we could create clothes or any other applications. As you can see, you know, my face is like almost in shock. And it's like in the lab, washing the material with fatty liquid. And it's, it's, it survived. I, I will finish the video here. And then basically we dry the piece and you can wet it again. Hey. Well, what we have discovered as well is that you know, we can have different, different textures, like could be a fleece effect, a paper-like effect, a durable material, or a lacy effect, and many other ones that can be embossed, that can be even mimicking and copying traditional clothing, like lace. And then you could have, you know, bikini cans, you know, like bikini from, from an aerosol can. You could have instant fluorescent patches so that when you go by bicycle, you get to be seen. And now then the, 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 the next and what we're constantly doing is trying to make this technology more sustainable and trying to make this thing, technology that we can use it again and again and how to embed new technologies and basically so that very soon you guys, you can have it in your houses. And I would like to end, and thank you very much.